Awesome stuff. Now, you can probably see the excitement on my face. My, uh, my face is starting to cramp a little bit from smiling. Coming from very humble beginnings on a dusty small holding in the Klein Kurua to becoming the ambassador of South African cuisine, and by that I mean the Bry in France, and author of two incredibly successful cookbooks. Uh, now joining us to share a recipe from his latest cookbook, Le Bry, is Kurbus Boerter. Joining us to Bry, one of his favorite spare ribs recipes, the ultimate meal for any meat lover. Here is the man mountain, the, the, the genius, the, the exponent of the braai. Kovis, welcome to it, man. Just look at the size Thank of those hands, much. please. <laughs> uh, buddy, what an absolute honor and pleasure having you here. Um, thank you so much for coming through. I know you are very busy touring with the latest latest book offering. Um, but before we, I plug you with all of the cool questions that um, <laughs> I'm desperate to ask, what are you going to be making for us? Give us a rundown. I am now going to be making the smallest braai I've ever made in my life, <laughs> which is with this uh, <coughs> piece of rib here, which is a kilo, it says, which means I weigh 79 kilos. <laughs> to me, it actually looks a lot bigger. That's the, that's the difference here. Mm. Uh, I'm going to make a, a, a slightly sweetie sauce here, which, if you don't want to make it, just buy yakitori. Yeah. And uh, just tell me when to start, but I have to look at the recipe because I don't remember what I put into the book. Look percent. at how I... <laughs> hand you the recipe book. Um, so you can get going, and, and while you're busy um, paging through, I mean, it must give you a huge amount of pride. I know this isn't your first rodeo in terms of your, your culinary books and being able to kind of share that love of braai. What, what made this one so special, do you think? When I went to France, I decided to start, you know, cooking, because I used to make movies before. And fight sharks. And, uh, yeah, and fight sharks. And before, uh, when, uh, when I did that, I thought, okay, well, braai to me is the nicest meal you can have. Absolutely. And why doesn't it have its place in the haute cuisine? Why doesn't it, isn't it eaten at the high level? Absolutely. And that's, this is something that I've managed to do. I cook on the highest level in France. I move around, I have huge barbecue, slightly bigger than this one. <laughs> Fractionally. <laughs> <laughs> and I move around to the most gorgeous places and cook for the most wonderful people. And voila, and I decided to make a, rec you know, a recipe book to, to describe that. In fact, most of the book is on technique, because braai is technique. Completely. And I normally nuanced, work with nuanced, meat, yeah. salt, pepper, and technique. Although this oh. one is nicer for TV because it's got little bits of stuff. So, so let me not hold you back, get in there, man. Okay, let's see what I have to put. Seven tablespoons of soy sauce. And if you haven't got the book by now and are not doing this with us at home, there is a problem. I put a brown sugar. And, and I, I suppose the caramelization, the sweet element with a rib is important. This other stuff, you haven't checked in the book what it is. <laughs> Voila, nice. <coughs> and then we cook it a bit. We're gonna warm that up. I'm gonna reduce it. Reduce means making it less. <laughs> that was just for my Then we put a salt, salt and, and, uh, and pepper on this piece of rib here. How, how do you feel about the seasoning of meat? There is such a, a, a diversive kind of elements of people salting meat before a braai and how you should introduce those two key You know, I have a, this is very serious. You must do exactly as you feel like doing. Uh -huh. Whatever works for you, that's the thing that you do. I salt my stuff before because it's really hard to salt it afterwards, you know, <laughs> when it's in the braai. And especially since I cook for thousands, I normally work with hundreds of kilograms of meat. So to try and salt it afterwards is not very <laughs> Over 5,000 people he's bright for. Okay, get it on the, on the, the grill. <sighs> Ooh, look how it doesn't sizzle. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming, man. It's coming. What has been the most ambitious bride you have ever done? Every year I do the, um, the wine tasting for the Rhone Valley. The last time it was 5,200 people in front of the Palais de Pape in Avignon and then four other villages over four days. So that, that, that was the biggest. And it's, uh, it was impossible to do, it was stressful. <laughs> but you know, that's the nicest stuff to do when it's quite impossible. And uh, we, we made a huge success. We've done it like four or five times now, so they love us. And uh, that was the biggest one. The wow. nicest one though, that I, in recent memory, I was, out of all the, the French chefs, I was chosen to do the welcoming of the Olympic Committee to My Paris for the, for the 2020 Games. And that was great. I, I put my, my brides, in, I should probably turn this. Oh, I love it. So we've, we've been browning off, obviously, our, our 
kilogram of ribs here, it's smelling amazing, <laughs> looking amazing. Um, how would you um, just very quickly wrap this up? How would we introduce the sauce, the basting sauce, to the ribs? What, at what Important point? Important thing happen? with the sweet sauce, you you cook the ribs first. They've got to be like almost cooked, then you start basting. Otherwise, you'll just burn it because it's it's sugary, so it'll burn oh, up. It's going to burn very quickly. Yeah. Um, I love that. So we're going to wrap that up and allow these beautiful aromas to fill our studio. I'm going to say what an absolute honor and a pleasure hosting you here. Can I say one thing? You can. To see how I really braai, people should go on my Facebook and Instagram, at Quirbus Braai. At Quirbus Braai. With a K. With a K. Um, and I would suggest getting your hands on this incredible piece of, I'm going to say, braai history that's been brought together. Quirbus, thank you so much for joining us this morning. The keyword here is braai to double three seven eight. We will send you this recipe list that we've completely copied from his book because it is that awesome. We're going to see you on the other side of a very <laughs> quick break. Thank you very much.